Hi guys, welcome back to the Sunless Ray YouTube channel where I share all of my favorite self tanning and spray tan tips I've learned over the years of being a professional spray tan artist. Today I'm gonna go over removing hair while you have a fake tan on. So this is a really common question that I get asked and it is because obviously we still need to shave while we have a fake tan on. A fake tan will last one to two weeks depending on how well you take care of it. And by how well you take care of it, I mean by using an organic body wash and an organic lotion daily. A lotion is gonna be your best friend while having a fake tan because that's gonna help it last as long as possible, keeping it moisturized. The secret to shaving, so you can only shave when you have a fake tan on. That is the only way you can remove hair without it messing up the tan. So if you were to wax, that's going to rip off the spray tan. Even threading, I wouldn't recommend, especially sugaring. You don't wanna have do any of that while you have a fake tan on. When you're ready for it to come off or it's fading, do whatever you want. But while you have it on, only shaving. And the secret is to wait 24 hours after first applying a self-tan mousse to shave. And you shave with just a regular razor, the, not the ones that have the body wash on it, you know, like the ones that have like the bar soap on it. Don't use any of that. You just use a razor, a regular razor, and you use the Dr. Bronner's body wash. I know that's not maybe the way that you normally shave, but you don't want to be using any product with chemicals or any oils on your skin while you have that fake tan if you want it to last as long as possible. If you have to use some kind of product because the Dr. Bronner's is making your skin like the razor not work as well, I would use a conditioner, like a natural conditioner that you would use on your hair. Just use that on your legs. Don't use a shaving cream or anything like that because that's gonna risk taking it off faster. But yes, just remember, 24 hours after your first self tan or spray tan application, you can shave again. And that is because also your fake tan takes 24 hours to fully develop. So awaiting that time frame is going to let your self tan or spray tan fully develop to make you have the longest and darkest tan that you asked your spray tan artist or based on the product that you use. I say it like that because just because you keep it on the 24 hours doesn't mean you're gonna have a darker spray tan. If you chose a medium spray tan, you're gonna have a medium spray tan at 24 hours. You just don't wanna use any product to stop that development. Since we are talking about hair removal, just always keep in mind, I've talked about this in other videos, that you want to wax and sugar 24 hours before a self tan or spray tan always, or you're risking your pores being open and having like little brown spots get stuck in your pores, which is really bronzer stuck in your pores. So always 24 hours, and that is same with shaving as well, because shaving is in a form of exfoliating, and you wanna always exfoliate 24 hours before a self tan or spray tan to have the best results possible. I hope you love this self tan tip. I share a new one every Tuesday and Thursday of the week. Make sure to subscribe and comment below with your fake tan questions so I can answer them below and also in a new video. You can follow me on Instagram at Jess Ray Buck, Sunless Ray, and my website is sunlessray.com and you can use code Ray25 for 25% off site wide. 